Well, let's bring in Chida Nwangu, who is a publisher at U.S. Africa Online newspaper, and he joins us from Houston in Texas. So, Chida, welcome to the program. So now we've heard from the country's uh, military leader. What did you make of what he had to say, first of all? Well, thank you very much, Nick. I think that there are two significant things. He's trying to buy time. The most important thing is that the country has to move in the direction of democratic governance and reforms. He can only stay there for only a short time. And the other thing that is obvious is that international players, Russia, Germany, are becoming aggressively more interested in what is happening in uh, in, in Burkina Faso. Right. Well, he, he, said, he said he would only return the country to constitutional order when the conditions are right. That leaves the door open, doesn't it? It could be, that could be any amount of time from months to years. It's, it's not up to him to speak on behalf of the entire people of, uh, of the Burkina Faso Republic. I think that there will be pressures, domestic and international, that will be on him, whereby they don't have to stay there longer. I will make the certain projection that they're not going to be there longer than 10 months, uh, the most uh, one year. Uh, the fact of the matter also is that there are Burkina Faso persons who are supporting the regime because of the failure of Kabore's government to aggressively and strongly re 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 reduce the capacity of the radical jihadists to kill and maim and disrupt the structure of governance in different parts of, uh, right. of uh, Burkina Faso. We've been hearing a lot about Russian influence uh, present in the region. Uh, will Demiba, do you think, turn to Russia for security cooperation in his bid to uh, attack the uh, armed groups? I think that Russia is coming in wherever they can to put pressure on the rest of the West, especially wherever the United States has uh, relative uh, interests. And that is part of why they are coming in aggressively into Burkina Faso, while the U.S. and other the NATO countries move around Russia's, uh, if you will, sphere of influence, as they used to be called in the Cold War years. Uh, Russia is also determining, working in concert with China to be as disruptive as possible or better put politely to be as influential as possible in any places where they can minimize the leverage and influence of the Western powers, which includes uh, France. Okay. Uh, Chidi Nwangu, appreciate uh, your analysis of this. Thanks very much indeed for your time. Thank you.